Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Shireen. I'm so glad you're here. I am so excited for this season because Ramadan is just around the corner and it's absolutely my favorite time of year. And today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made the DIY mask I had in my Ramadan decor last year. I made it last year, super last minute, and it came out so good and so many people were asking me how I did it. So today I'm making another one, very, very similar. The one I'm making today just happens to be a little bit smaller just because of the cardboard I was able to find, but you can scale this as big or as little as you want based on your space. First things first, let's go over all the supplies that we're gonna need. First, we need some kind of cardboard. This is the one I could find. You can also use those foam boards you can get from the store. They're like foam with like white on one side and black on the other. I actually plan to use that for this video, but I didn't have a chance to make it to the store. So this is what I'm working with. You also need some pieces of paper to sketch your design before it goes on the board. You need a ruler to make sure everything is even, a pencil and an eraser, and believe it or not, I do use the eraser a lot, and a scissor, a cutter, some string lights, basically whatever you have on hand, this is, happens to be what I have, but if you have something else, you can try it, and if it doesn't work out, then you can go ahead and order something better, and some painter's tape. I also have some spray paint right here. You definitely don't have to have a spray paint. I just like it because I like the gray color and you can choose whichever color you want, but you can also stick to the cardboard color. I think the brown color looks really nice too. Or if you go with the foam boards you can buy from the store, you have the option of keeping it white or black. This is pretty much everything that you need to get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch our mask. I really like the design I had last year of like one big curve in the middle and two columns on the side. So I'm gonna repeat that for this video. And to come up with my sketch, what I do is I decide like this piece of paper represents my board. And what I do is I'm gonna put three dots right here. And I want these three dots to be my main center of the mosque. So it should look something like this. So if this was my main piece of the structure of the mosque, I want to go out like this. Okay, and maybe something like that. And then I want to have my pillar. So I have one pillar here. And I, I really like this design because I start with the middle and whatever I do on the right, I will repeat on the left. But when you're making your design, you can change this however you want. You can have your main portion here and a few pillars on this side or a big portion and then another small portion. I know for my pillar, my pillar is going to look something like that. And this completes my board. And then for the top of my pillars, I wanted to take the same shape as the middle. So I did the exact same thing of doing three dots. I'm gonna use these three dots to kind of draw what I want my uh, top of the pillars to look like, which is something like this. Excuse my very messy sketch. I will show you how we're gonna clean this up. So this is my very rough sketch of what I want the mosque to look like. But given that, I'm going to make stencils for each of the pieces so they're all to ratio and also has even sides. Now that I have my design, I'm going to keep it right here so I can reference to it. And I'm going to use a plank piece of paper. This is regular size piece of paper. And I want to draw just one portion of this design. And I'm going to focus on this portion right here, which is half of my main curve. I'm just going to come here with my pencil and attempt to draw this curve. Okay, I already don't like this. I want it to be more curvy on the bottom. So I'm gonna try again. Okay, I do like the second one more. So let me erase the first one really quick. I wanna change it just a little bit more. Maybe something like this. Okay, 
So after a few tries, I have come to the one that I like, and now I'm actually gonna cut this. So here's one half, and I try to center this as much as I can, and to keep this in place, I'm gonna use some painter's tape to stick it on the side where I'm not going to be tracing. So I'm not gonna be tracing this, I'm only gonna be tracing this side. So here's one side. Now I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna flip it over so I can do the other half. Now that I have done this, I'm actually realizing that this was a, a really big stencil because this is the complete width of my center and I still wanna have two pillars here and that's not enough space. So this might happen where you might start and you might have to redo some of the things just to make sure that you got your sizing right. I'm just gonna draw a smaller one on the inside and in order for me to achieve a smaller option of this design, I'm just going to cut this stencil a little bit smaller. And to do that, I'm just going to draw another line that is very consistent with the first one because I like the design of the first one. It just came out a little too big. There. So I'm going to give this another cut. Okay, there we go. I'm going to start with this side since that's where my tape is. And now just to be sure of my design, I'm just gonna go over it really quick to make sure I like it before I move on and do even more work. And I actually wanna curve it in a little bit more. So I'm just gonna curve it in like this. And I'm gonna try to attempt to do the same curve on this side. And there, I have the main portion of my mask drawn, which is this part of the design. And then I made this design, like right here, how it sticks out just a little bit. Here, I did it super quickly, it was just a sketch. When I do it here, I'm actually gonna measure one inch out, maybe an inch and a half down, and then one inch in. And I'll do the same thing here, one inch out, an inch and a half down, one inch in. So let me do that. Now it's time to do the pillars. So next I'm gonna draw this line and this line. Now I'm gonna draw this line and this line. I'm gonna try to maximize my cardboard, but I still can't go all the way to the edge because I wanna leave some room for this part here with this piece. I'm going to keep my borderline in about maybe half an inch or an inch. Now it's time to create the piece that goes up here. I really like to keep the same design that I used. So I'm gonna keep modifying this until I make it small enough to fit over here. Using my pencil, I'm just gonna draw a smaller version of it inside it. Okay, that's clearly still too big. Still too big. I think this one will work, the smallest one. So let me cut this. We're gonna use the same idea and trace it over here. Okay, now the only pieces that I haven't drawn are these little corners. 
and it's basically connecting the dots so i don't even need a ruler for this i just know i need to come out a little bit down a little bit out a little bit there and now i'm done drawing my mask now it's time to cut it i'm using a cutter because i want a really clean cut and this is how i cut it and i know it takes patience but i like to go down and then come back up and then go down and come back up very gently because i want to keep my cut very clean if i go if i rush or if i use a scissor i'm probably not going to get a clean of a cut and while it seems like it's a lot of work it actually moves very quickly So here's my mask, it's all cut out and done. Now it's time to add the lights. I'm gonna flip it over because the lights are gonna go in the back. And I'm using these string lights, like I said before, which I already had at home, but you can use whichever lights you want. I do really like these because they give out a lot of lights. And I think that makes like a much stronger halo around the mask when the lights are off. And this time I'm using a painter's tape. Last year I used like a much stronger tape and when i wanted to store the mask i wanted to remove the lights and it was kind of hard removing the lights and storing the mask by itself this year i'm using painter's tape so hopefully when ramadan is over i can remove the light and i can store it just much better so basically i've decided that my outlet is going to be right here so i'm taking my light and i'm going to go all around the mask so i'm going to make the light line up just at the border of the cardboard and I'm gonna put as much tape as I need to, to keep it in place, because I want the light to be consistent all the way around. exactly 10 feet of lighting so now if you flip it over you'll see you have a beautiful mask and when you plug it in it's even more beautiful with the light i do want it gray so i'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it and here is the mask um it's all done it looks so beautiful and cute and let me just turn the camera over and i'll show you again and ta-da! Here it is, you guys! It's done! I love it! I love, love, love it just as much as I love the one I made last year. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you try it out. But that's pretty much it. I did this cute little setup here just to show it to you. I'm not sure if I'll actually keep it here for Ramadan or I'm gonna move it around. I still haven't finished my home decor yet, but stay tuned because that's coming too in the next couple of weeks on my channel. See you guys, it was so simple and easy. I finished it all in one day and I had plenty of interruptions from my kids and I still was able to finish it. It didn't take that long and it's such a beautiful decor piece for your home. And it's really good if you have kids because you know they can pray, you can put it in a position of your prayer and they can just like 
pretend it's a real mosque and it's really fun. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I promise I have so much exciting Ramadan content coming out in the next couple of weeks and you don't want to miss out on that. If you have any questions for me, leave me a comment or message me on Instagram. And if you try to make your own, I would love to see it. So please tag me on Instagram if you post a picture. I want to see what design you come up with and what color you choose to color it and where you decide to put it in your house. I would love to see all that. I'll say bye for now and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>